Hey dog pound Nathan Zagura here in Berea for the Monday edition of the Browns Subtle, a day following the Browns very close, but not close enough 17 to 13 loss to the Kansas City Chiefs. First, some housekeeping. The Browns making some roster moves. They have waived running back Daryl Richardson and they have released Deontay Pop Saunders. Mike Pettin saying today that Monty Bryant will once again be inactive against the Steelers. Now the team promoted Caleb Johnson, a linebacker from the practice squad to the active 53 man roster, taking the spot of Richardson. They will have an open spot on the practice squad that they will fill, I am sure, in the coming days. Now for Mike Pettin, he addressed the media on his Monday conference call today, saying the things to be excited about for the future are the offense and the offensive system under John Filippo that's shown a lot of progress in both the passing game and the running game as the team has kind of gotten to that power run game and has had more success running out of three receiver sets as the season has progressed. Isaiah Corral's top two rushing yardage games of the year have come in the last three weeks alone. So Mike Pettin happy about that. Mike Pettin saying we are full steam ahead on the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's where the focus is. The Browns have an opportunity to play spoiler and keep the Steelers out of the playoffs. It's just that simple. If the Browns beat the Steelers, the Steelers will not go to the playoffs this year. So the Browns have that opportunity at First Energy Stadium. The team came out of the game relatively unscathed. Just a couple of injuries. Raheem Mostert with an ankle injury, and they're not expected to have him this Sunday against the Steelers. And then Marlon Moore with a concussion. He is going to be in the concussion protocol. Just one cool fa fun fact for you about Nate Orchard, the Browns rookie who recorded his first interception and also had a sack against Kansas City. He is now only the third Browns rookie to have an interception and a sack in the same game. The other two linebacker LJ Fort and of course Joe Hayden. Also it should be noted Johnny Manziel's 108 yards rushing were the most by a quarterback in the history of the Cleveland Browns. That'll do it for today's edition of the Browns Huddle. Keep it tuned to CleanBrowns.com and the Browns mobile app for the latest on your Browns.